Okay, we've already created the droplet in DigitalOcean, but now what we need to do is we need to see how we can uh, set the rest of it up. So what DigitalOcean should have sent you eventually is an email. So here's my email right here, and it tells me what my droplet name is, my IP address, what my username is, and my initial password. So what I need to do is I need to uh, log into the server, and to do that we do what's known as SSH into the server. And if you're on a Mac, you can do that right off your terminal window. If you're on a PC, you can do that through the application called Putty. Or if you just open up the PowerShell window, you can do it from there too. So I've opened up my PowerShell window because that's what I like to use. And I'm up here at the top, and I'm just going to start with SSH, root, at, and then I need to get the server address, which I have right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy that. Come up here and hit enter and now it's going to ask me for the password now it may ask you for some sort of authentication it may say something like this is the fingerprint authentication has been say it do you want to set it just enter the word yes um it's already done that for me this is the second time running through it so that's why it's not asking me that but anyway then i want to get my password well my password is right here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this okay and i'm going to go ahead and it didn't paste it for me, so let me do it one more time. So get here and copy it. Come here, paste it, enter, and then didn't that do it? Let's try it one more time. Enter. There it goes. Okay. So one thing I'll, you probably just noticed is when you do paste in your passwords, you will not see them. So it gets a little. Sometimes you don't know if you got it right or not. Um, and uh, same thing if you type them. You're not going to see them. But anyway, now I've logged into the server. And you come down here, and basically it tells me where the default web root is located right here at this address. And that's actually good to know because that um, is where we're going to put all our files for our PHP files. They're actually going to go inside of um, inside of right here. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. But the other thing that you're they're wanting you to do right off the bat is they want you to change your password. Uh, so you don't have what they gave you. So basically, I'm going to paste this in again, and I'm going to enter a new password, something that I want to use. Uh, enter that again, and I'm done. Okay, so now I've logged in as, uh, as root, and um, I have changed my password. In another video, I'll show you how you can actually um, change your uh, change the user, which is uh, very simple. Okay, so we pretty much have this thing set up. If we uh, If we go to a browser... Just open up, uh, I got my browser open here, and I just open up a new tab here, and I enter in um, my, can I grab it again, my IP address. I'll show you what it does. So if I come here and I enter in this IP address and go here, <coughs> it says, please log in your drop us and configure LAMP installation. So basically, this page right here, it looks like it's some sort of error. It's not an error. What it is, is it's just DigitalOcean saying, everything's uh, set and ready to go. So I'll show you where this page is located uh, at the end of the video, but I just wanted you to understand that's what happens when you enter this address into the um, browser. What it does is it goes into that file that they showed you right here, this var slash www slash html. It goes into here, and inside of there you'll see an index.html file, and that's what it's actually uh, showing you right there. And I'll explain that to you again just a little bit because there's one more thing that we really need to uh, set up and that is MySQL. So if I go sudo MySQL you can see that I automatically dumped right into a MySQL shell and I should not be able to do that. MySQL should be secure. In this case it's not secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, why that is and it's uh, actually it's all covered in a little article that was very well done by um, DigitalOcean themselves. And I'm going to post the link uh, to this article, uh, to this web page, in, um, in the description for this video. But here is the, uh, the step three, and it's adjusting user authentication and privileges. So basically what happens is, if you can do this, there's something wrong, okay? And what they're telling you is that you want to check this table right here, and it's going to tell you whether or not um, root is authenticated as a user. So if I come over here... Um, let me just uh, clear my screen. Oh, that's right. Well, let me do it that way. Um, if I go here and I select it, you can see that there is no um, authentication. I need to use the old MySQL native password so I can do a password right here. 
So there's a problem with this, okay? And if I um, come over to my um, article again, so I get navigated to it, they, they say, oh yeah, yep, this is it. And they explain what's going on. And so if I wanna fix that, I need to actually use this little piece of code right here. And the only thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure to change password, not from something from password to a legitimately secure password, okay? So if I uh, come back to here and I go ahead and I paste that in, and I'm gonna use the password of password because when this video is done, I'm gonna destroy this droplet, so it really won't matter. But I just wanna show you how this works. And so if I hit the enter key, you can see it says, okay, zero rows affected, blah, blah, blah. All right, um, now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the next step and I wanna check it. First, I'm gonna do flush privileges and then we'll check it. So I come here, do flush privileges. Okay, and now what I wanna do is I wanna uh, go back to the article here and we're gonna actually just enter the line we just had and we're gonna check that table. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and come here. Okay, so now you can see everything set up. I have MySQL password. Um, it's put in the, the authentication string, which is a hash of my password, okay? So now everything is good. If I go back here to my um, <coughs> article here, they just want you to exit and then uh, go in again. Now, once I exit here, just by doing exit, and I'll go ahead and I think I can clear now. Now, if I try to do sudo MySQL again, you can see I can't get into it because the access is denied. What I need to write is sudo, okay? And I need to write MySQL hyphen U and then put in a space and root and then hyphen P. And then it's gonna ask me for my password. If I enter the password P-A-S-S-W-R-D because that's what I used, I'm in. All right, so that is one step you need to do because if you don't do this step right here, you will not be able to remotely access your MySQL um, database from a PHP script, from some, um, uh, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, Heidi SQL. I have that in a video where you can actually use a little GUI application to access your database remote, remotely, things like that. So if you don't do this step right here, you're gonna have problems. So um, I exited back out of MySQL and I just wanna show you um, where that other part is, uh, where your web files are to be. And that was at var.www.html. If I do cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html, just like shown, and that will take me to that directory. And then if I do ls, which uh, lists everything, you can see there's my index page right there. And that is the page that you can see with, uh, with the server. So if I come back here, go to the server, that's this page right here. That's all, that's all that is. Now, we'll learn about that. What basically um, is happening with this index page right here is <clears throat> anything that's an index page, either it's .html, .php, will show up um, right here, okay? Or, I'm sorry, if you put it in this directory, it'll be the first page that shows up. We'll learn how do you create directories and how you create files and uh, how you do things so that you can actually have web pages show up normally and things like that. So don't worry too much about that. I just want to make sure you, um, through this video, understand how to set this up. If you've got this set up to where it's doing what you want it to do, then you're pretty much uh, good to go.